Hello everyone, my name is Sergeant First Class Josh Richmond, and I'm the team chief here with the Army Marksmanship Unit Shotgun Team. The day has finally come, June 14th, the Army's 245th birthday, and I couldn't be more honored to be standing here in the historic Patton Roundhouse on the Hook Range Shooting Complex. I'd like to give you more of a tour of the Roundhouse, but I'm gonna save that for a different day. Today, we wanna honor those, past, present, and future, soldiers of the greatest Army in the world with some of our shotgun exhibition shooting out here on our range. Come with me, let's see what the team's been working on. Well, now that they've had a chance to warm up, let's make things a little more difficult. I'd like to introduce you to Sergeant Elliott, one of our established skeet shooters on the team and a guy that takes a lot of pride in shooting this shotgun demonstration. Elliott, take it away. Sure thing. Uh, I want to show you guys a couple different shotguns we're going to be using for some of these tricks. The first one is a Remington 870. It's a pump action shotgun, meaning every time we pull the trigger, we have to manually operate this weapon system to provide a new shotgun shell in the shotgun. Another one's going to be the Remington 1187. This here is a semi-automatic shotgun. We fill it up with ammunition. Every time we pull the trigger, the shotgun will operate itself for us, making it a little easier to uh, get up to multiples, four, five, six, and seven, and we'll explain that later on. We're going to get started off with a few tricks. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of transitions. We'll start from the hip, go to over the head, um, upside down between the legs, behind the back, things like that. Like we said, we're warmed up now, so we're ready to take it to the next level. I'm here with Staff Sergeant Staffen. We're gonna shoot two clay targets. The first shall be from the hip, the second shall be from over the head before they hit the ground. Let's make it happen. We're back again. We're going to take it one step further. We're going to move up to three clay targets. The first two will be from the hip, and the last target will be from over the head. All right, taking it one step further. I got Staff Sergeant Taylor here going to throw me three clay targets. We're going to use a couple different positions. We're going to go from behind the back on the first shot, from the hip on the second shot, and from over the head on the third one. Let's make it happen, all right? All right, we're changing it up one more time. We got three clay targets, but this time we're gonna shoot the first target from the hip, but with an upside down shotgun, pulling the trigger with our thumb, switching it over to our hip, and for the last one, we're gonna break from over the head. Give it a try. All right, that's it for us here. We're gonna introduce Staff Sergeant Stewart. 
he's gonna bring us up here on some multiples. What that means, we're gonna use this 1187, the same automatic shotgun, and we're gonna see how many targets we can bring him up to. Hopefully, we can make it to our world record. Some awesome shooting guys we broke the world record nobody mentioned how we were gonna do it but we got it accomplished first and foremost we are international skeet shooters and trap shooters here so we're gonna show you how we train on an international skeet field with some machine thrown clay targets from the high house and the low house all right we've made it out here on the international skeet field we're on station eight we're gonna shoot alternating targets from the high house and the low house as fast as I can press this button all right Sergeant Stewart let's see what you got We're still out here on station eight. Sergeant Stewart here is gonna walk as close as he can to the low house on this international skeet field. He's gonna alternate between three positions, from behind the back, over the head, and from the hip. Let's see how close we can get. Let's do it. We're now to the point where we're gonna start shooting some of your suggested trick shots. I'm here with Sergeant First Class Glenn Eller, a five-time Olympian and a 2008 Olympic Games gold medalist in Beijing, China. He's gonna chip me some charcoal briquettes in the air and I'm gonna shoot it from the hip. Let's make it happen. Yep. All right, that charcoal made for a great trick shot. We're gonna go back to more of a traditional method uh, with a golf ball and a, uh, a chipping wedge. Let's see if we can make this happen. for sticking around. We hope y'all have enjoyed all the content we brought to you. We've got lots more in store, so stay tuned. Staff Sergeant Stewart and I, we're gonna show you how we like to eat on the road. We are United States Army soldiers, so PT is important, and that means staying healthy and eating right is just as important. Let's make it happen. So we're gonna start over here with our uh, vegetable salad. We got some cabbage we need to dice up. Staff Sergeant Stewart's gonna help me out. All right, we always need a couple heads. Here we go. That one was much better, good shooting. As you notice, throughout this uh, vegetable portion, we're gonna keep going smaller and smaller. You know, we started with cabbage, making our way to some green peppers. All right, I think those are pretty well prepared. Next up in our garden salad, we got some tomatoes. That's good shooting right there. Last but not least in our garden salad, you gotta have some onions. These right here are super sweet. Let's make it happen. Oh, perfect. 
That's great shooting. Not uh, sweet at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are virtual with y'all today. Otherwise, y'all would be getting the wrath of this wind as our vegetables scatter around here. So next time, we'll have to catch y'all in person. Next up on our list um, of salads, we're gonna go ahead and make my favorite, our fruit salad. We're gonna start off with a couple watermelons. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, good shooting there. One more time. That's what I'm talking about. Good shooting, Sergeant Stewart. Again, we're always making ourselves uh, have to work a little bit harder. We're just gonna keep uh, decreasing in size through our fruits. We got oranges now. That's all right, that's all right. One of my favorites, but not quite my most favorite, we got some apples. I think these are Granny Smith, pretty good. Now that's some shooting. All right, we're taking it one step further, going down even smaller. Uh, we've got some grapes for y'all. Who thinks online if Sergeant Stewart is gonna be able to hit all of these grapes? Let us know in the comments below. Ready? Yep. Well, that was seven in a row. Small grapes, good shooting staff, Sergeant Stewart. Well done. All right, our last ingredient for our fruit salad is both of our favorites. We've got a pineapple, but there's one thing you've got to do before you can go ahead and dice up this pineapple, and that's go ahead and take off the top here. So I'm gonna to try to get Staff Sergeant Stewart here to do, so I'm gonna throw this pineapple in the air. His first shot from his shotgun is gonna take off our leaves, and our second shot is gonna dice up our pineapple. I'm gonna show him how we like to eat our pineapples. Here we go. And that was absolutely perfect. Good job, Sergeant Stewart. You can't have a good fruit salad without some whipped cream to top it all off. That's right, perfect shooting, perfect shooting. All right. We're allowed to have one or two sweet tooths in our diet, so one thing we gotta keep in is a couple sodas. You gotta rinse down all that healthy stuff with some soda. Oh yeah, good shot there. Unfortunately, that was a perfect shot. One more time, let's give this one a good shake. Ready? Oh, that was beautiful. Good shooting, good shooting. Sweet tooth for the day. We're gonna show you how we like to bake our cakes with a bag of flour. Ready? Yep. Good shooting, good shooting. All right, what do y'all think about how we like to eat on the road? Staying fit, staying healthy, staying ready. Good shooting, Staff Sergeant Stewart. I hope you enjoyed how we like to eat on the road. Now, at the end of all of our shows, we like to bring it back in on more of a personal level. We like to highlight any future soldiers we have in the audience, any veterans, past, future, and present soldiers, men and women. But today, we're gonna do a tribute for the Army's 245th birthday to the good old red, white, and blue. First, I would like to thank my team for participating in this fun event, doing some great trick shots. We had a lot of fun doing it, and we hope you enjoyed it too. Now it's time to cut the cake. Guys, the knife. The knife? I thought you brought the knife. Josh? I have an idea.
Wow, that worked out really well. Nice shot, Josh. Thank you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Army!